So good morning school again. We're going to read Stick Man today, one of my favourite Julia Donaldson books. Okay, it's all about a man who is a stick. Okay, so page one. And I'll try and show you the pictures as well as we go along. So there's the front page. And there's Stick Man with his family. Okay. And there's his house. Stick the stick house. And let's find out what happened to Stick Man and why there's a story about him. Stick Man lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and their stick children three. One day he wakes early and goes for a jog. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the dog. Okay, so there's his family tree, there's his family playing, and there is the dog. A stick box, the dog, an excellent stick, the right kind of stick for my favorite trick. I'll fetch it and drop it and fetch it, and then I'll drop it and fetch it and drop it again. I'm not a stick. Why can't you see? I'm stick man. I'm stick man. I'm stick man. That's me. And I want to go home to my family tree. So there's the dog playing with the stick. And there's the stick man being thrown in the air. Okay, by those children, because that's what you do with sticks. And he's getting further and further away from his home house. A notice says, dogs must be kept on the lead. At last the game's over and stick man is free. There's a sign saying dogs must be kept on the lead. He sets off for home with a hop on a twirl. Stick man, oh stick man, beware of the girl. A stick, cries the girl with a smile on her face. The right kind of poo stick for winning the race. Has everyone got one? Get ready to throw. It's one, two, three, into the river they go. Okay, so there's a picture of the dog being told off and there is poo sticks. Whether you play that game, I don't know. But you drop a stick into the river and you watch it go underneath the bridge. OK, so stick man is being dropped into the river. I'm not a poo stick. Why can't they see? I'm stick man. I'm stick man. I'm stick man. That's me. And I'm heading away from the family tree. Stick man is floating. He floats on and on. Stick man. Oh, stick man. Beware of the swan. A twig, says the swan. The, this twig is the best. It's the right kind of twig to weave in my nest. Okay, so there is a picture of Stickman floating down the river, being picked up by the swan, and you can see where my finger is there. The swan is placing it into his nest. So the stick man has become part of the swan's nest. I'm not a twig, why can't they see? I'm stick man, I'm stick man, I'm stick man, and that's me. And I long to be back in the family tree. The nest is deserted and stick man is free. He drifts down the river and sails out to sea. Okay, so there was the nest that the swan lived in, and there is Stickman kind of sailing out to sea. You can see he's on the river, and there's a sheep looking at him as he's drifting past him, going out to sea. He tosses and turns till the frolicking foam washes him up on a beach far from home. Here comes a dad with a spade in his hand. Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the man. A mast, yells the dad, an excellent mast. Hooray, there's a flag for our castle at last. Okay, so there's the man walking on the beach, sees stick man lying on the floor, picks him up and turns him into a flag that you would put on top of your sandcastle. I'm not a mast for a silly old flag, or a sword for a knight, or a hook for a bag. I'm not a pen, I'm not a bow, I'm not a bat or, mo or a boomerang, no, I... Guess what he's going to say. So there's pictures of what else he became. Okay, so all those things, all those adventures Stickman has had, and he longs to be back at his family tree. I'm Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the snow. Here comes a boy in a warm willy scarf. An arm for my snowman, he says with a laugh. I'm not an arm, can nobody see? I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, that's me. Will I ever get back to the family tree? So that was like last weekend wasn't it okay and this is what you might have done you might have picked up a loose twig put it in the arm of a snowman but did you know it could have been stick man himself stick man is lonely stick man is lost stick man is frozen and covered in frost stick man is weary his eyes start to close he stretches and yawns and lies down for a doze so a doze is a word for a sleep he can't hear the bells or the sweet singing choir. So there's a lovely kind of wintry scene. Okay. With Stickman just lying in the snow. There he is there, just lying in the snow, fast asleep. Or the voice saying, here's a good stick for the fire. Stickman is lying asleep in the grate. Okay. 
Can anyone wake him before it's too late? So he's literally in the fireplace. Okay, so the grate is where you place the woods in your fireplace. What might happen to Stickman unless he wakes up? He dreams of his kids and his stick lady love. Then suddenly wakes when the noise up above. It starts as a chuckle, then turns to a shout. Oh, ho, ho, I'm stuck. Get me out. A stuck man, a stuck man. Now who could it be? Don't worry, cries stick man. I'll soon set you free. A scratch and a scrape and a flurry of soot. A wiggle, a jiggle, and out pokes a foot. A shove and a nudge, a hop and a jump. Okay, so there is stick man dreaming. And then there's all those lovely rhyming words, okay, of this person who is trying to escape from the fireplace. Do we know anybody who escapes from fireplaces? As Santa falls into the room with a thump. There he is, falling out of the chimney. Stick man, oh stick man, you excellent friend. Thanks, thanks a million. Thanks without end. So he's thanking the stick man for releasing him from the fireplace. Then stick man helps Santa deliver the toys to fast asleep girls and fast asleep boys. Faster and faster they fly through the snow till Santa says, only one chimney to go. So that was a pitch, hopefully we saw that. And that's Stickman helping Santa out. Okay, one chimney to go. Look, there's a tree. Hmm. Okay, and there's a picture there of his stick lady love and his three stick children. Stick lady's lonely. The children are sad. It won't feel like Christmas without their stick dad. They toss and they turn in the family bed. But what is that clattering sound overhead? Someone is tumbling into the house. Is it a bird, a bat or a mouse? Or could it, yes, could it just possibly be? Okay, there's that picture again. Who's arrived right home? It's stick man, it's stick man, it's stick man, it, that's me. And I'm sticking right here in the family tree. So there you go. He has been returned for Christmas by Father Christmas himself. Okay. And there are other books written by Julia Donaldson, Gruffalo and the Gruffalo's Child being the most famous, or Tail Snail on the Whale. Okay, so have a look at some of those maybe next time you're in our school library or if you have them on your bookshelf at home. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little story. It is my favourite. Stick Man by Julia Donaldson, pictures by Axel Schaefer, and read by Mr Evans. Take care, bye.